Hi, my fiancé and I would like to take scuba lessons as soon as possible. Right, honey? Hmm? What? Oh, of course. I mean, who wouldn't want to do something fun and safe like scuba diving? Oh, sure. That'd be no problem at all. Would you excuse me for a second? There's a fire on the field. Couple's training for a fight. Receive a caution. First step. Welcome back. A lot of people have been waiting for this video. Why couples training sometimes sucks. The full movie. And what this is going to break down into is ears, fears, conflict, and showing off. If you want to see some of the ups and downs of training as I've experienced them, stay tuned. So first, if you've seen the teaser, I think I'm going to put it here again because that is a really great explanation of mismatched expectations. If your experience is anything like mine, you know that couples training, while sometimes can be a fantastic way to bring two people into the sport, it can also have its own brand of special challenges. For example, sometimes one of those couple really wanted to do the course, and the other person is just along for the ride. And boy, can that ride be bumpy. Let's have a look. Babe, thank you so much for agreeing to get dive certified with me. I'm so excited for us to take this adventure together. Hey there, Sand Paw Princess. I can't get you out of my mind tonight. Aren't you excited too? Excited. So ears, what I find is that ears are a really good out for someone who does not want to be in, in the course. And the reason is, is because ears, well, lots, there are lots of reasons, it's the perfect, perfect out. The perfect out, the perfect ripcord to get out of a course. And here's the reason why. One, no one can disprove it. By looking at anything, I can't tell, you know? No one can disprove it. It might be true, it might be true, but I'm saying, if it's not true, no one can disprove it. I say, ah, my ears hurt. And it's an absolute contraindication. And there really might be some ear stuff going on there. However, if anybody who can basically uh, equalize for a plane coming down can equalize theoretically for scuba. Now, if they're not relaxed, they're, they're you know, they're, they're not motivated. They really don't want to relax. They're not motivated to relax. They're like, man, I didn't want to be here. And now I've got to, you know, so ears are the quintessential ailment of unwilling partners in the training scenario. Nine out of 10 times, if I have a partner who, who doesn't want to be, be making it, this is, this is what's going to happen. It's, it's going to be an ear issue and I'll, I'll be, I'll be Mr. Patience, believe me, but I've kind of gotten the back of my mind that, that this person, this might be their, their, uh, get out of jail card without, without drama. All right. So along the ears, now this is, this is a little bit unrelated. This just, this was a coincidence. So I had this couple, this, no, this is the couple, this is a couple that almost made me quit teaching scuba uh, forever. And actually, if, if you look at the uh, dive notes, the dive notes video, the notes are about one of one of this couple. Super nice couple on land. Super nice couple, super nice couple. And I'm not, I'm gonna say they were French. Uh, and very, very nice couple. In this case, it could be either way. I've had it both ways many, many times. In this case, the wife was really, 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 really having, having problems. And uh, not with ears though, with, with other things. And please watch that video. Now, <laughs> the husband, the husband was a super nice guy and he really thought he was being helpful and his ears actually were not fantastic. And this is odd because he was, he was the go-getter, but his ears were not fantastic. And how he thought he was helping, I was with, with the wife one day, it was at, I don't know, nine meters, eight or nine meters, just really trying to help the, the wife do it. We're in the ocean, 
everyone else, like I'm doing an extra dive with the wife. Other people are doing their rest, their surface interval. And I'm down there with, with the wife. We're, we're just trying, if you watch that video, she was having like major trouble figuring out how a BC works, despite tens of hours in the water with one. And, you know, still just, oh my God, what, what is it? Oh, but yeah. And, and as I was doing this, the husband is diving down to eight or nine meters. So I'm there with him, like face to face. And the husband is diving down and then coming next to us. He's like, I'm going to do a voice that's not French because I can't do a French voice. Right? It's like, Jim, look at me. I'm underwater with you. Look, here I am. And he swims back up. And I say, did that really just happen? <laughs> I'm struggling here to get the basic thing happening. And then before before I can even be finished saying, what the hell? Jim, look, I'm here again. Look, it's me. I'm snorkeling. Look. And he goes back up. Oh, my God. I'm going to quit diving forever. And, and the irony of it is, I did that like a, a half a dozen times. And the irony of it is, is he damaged his ears doing this. And that... That put, I think he was able to squeak it out that weekend, but it was it was not easy because he had, he damaged his ears, he stressed his ears. So uh, anyway, ears. I don't know. I, I had to tell that story because it's it, it, I, just, I just had to get it out. Right. So I'll I'll talk about that case because you know the the, the wife had had fears, and it took. Tens of hours. She did not want to be in this course. She was just doing. She was a very, very nice woman and a, and a fantastic partner. And she was just doing it to satisfy her partner. It was clearly obvious she was not really interested. And and it, it took me tens of hours to get her to just pass the course. But I got to say, when it works, it works. It's beautiful. It really is. It's you know, boyfriends, girlfriends, husbands, wives underwater. It's it's a wonderful thing. I love you know seeing people have a good time and share things with each other that that is that is fantastic i have had fights uh, witnessed fights underwater in the pool and in the ocean uh, you know people going at each other about whatever you know air share was late or poor buddy skills or one person will experience something uncomfortable and just attack the other person i i've witnessed arguments that took minutes to settle underwater just Two people arguing at each other, like, like those corgis going at each other. Uh, I, I, I've seen some amazing, incredible fights underwater between partners, and I don't know how things went on after that. I'm not sure. Now, uh, what I will say that relates to this is the fight or flight instinct. Now, one of the things that I school my dive leaders, so dive masters and instructors or perspective people who are training for those is that one of the things that we have to prepare ourselves for is to witness the fight or flight response in dive divers and dive dive students especially so when people are experiencing stress they're going to see you know this is going to come out it, they could do things they could say things it could be physical mental it could be panic it could be anger uh, we Die professionals will often experience something, possibly from, from another human being, that maybe their partner has never witnessed in them because they've never been pushed to that brink of panic or fight or flight. So we have to be ready to experience this sort of thing. And that dynamic can bring out arguments between the couples when one or both of them is experiencing this fight or flight instinct. And to me, that, that's one of, the good, one of the hallmarks of a good instructor. A good instructor will structure is micromanaging in their mind, a good instructor is micromanaging their environment to minimize stress on the students, unless they want stress for certain students. Minimizing stress so that they're experiencing as little of the fight or flight instinct as possible, so that they'll, they'll attain the comfort soon and then it will be something they want to go on. A poor instructor will not minimize these risk factors. A student will have a very stressful course and then very often not continue after the course. That is the risk of a poor instructor in my experience. All right, showing off. Uh, I guess the free diving could be an example of showing off actually, which turned into ears, uh, although not in the sense that I had intended. But showing off, holy cow, I've got one story. Every once in a while, usually it's the guy. And every once in a while, 
you know, you'll have a guy that's just trying to outdo the partner, outdo me, outdo everyone. And, you know, that, that's often, that's great. I mean, if, if it's coming out in a positive way, I'm, I'm all for it. But every once in a while, let me give you a story of when it was not cool. I was, at, I was on one of the islands. I had a, a couple, a wonderful couple. I'm, I'm still actually in touch with them. I've never spoken with him about this. I hope he doesn't watch this video. And she, she's, the wife is, is kind of small. And, um, and he is, you know, this was a long time. This was 15 years ago. And he was a young buck. And he's, he's tall. He's got long legs. And he's powerful. And we were going to do the navigation. So I was going to be with them. Those two had a navigational task. I think, I think he, he was leading it. Right? They're supposed to, you know, we're on this heading, we're going to go out until a time limit, a number of kicks, a depth limit, and then do a reciprocal course return. Well, this guy, I, I, I don't remember, honestly, what, what parameter I was looking for, but I was behind, I was behind the two. I said, all right, I'm going to be like right, right there with you, following you and, you know, check your course. He was leading, you know, you're going to still demonstrate good buddy skills. You know, there might be some fish on the way to there, you know, be a diver on the way, you know, keep a track of your air, keep a track of your depth, all the, all the buddy skills, all the normal things. Well, this guy said, okay, go. <laughs> and that in his mind must have been like, go. <laughs> and this young buck took off like a racing stallion, just took off and for like five seconds I was like trying to drag her and keep up with him and then I just stopped her and said as best I can I said stop we'll wait here he'll be back <laughs> there was no way I was gonna be catching that and catching up to that and you know totally against standards you know he's, he's an open water student all alone but there was no way you know, I had to either leave one alone here or leave one alone there so he was a stronger swimmer and I waited for him <laughs> and, and he came back later on and I talked to him I said hey you know we the rest of us only swim like humans all right and plus you know what about your buddy skills on that hey so that was that was a fun one yeah so couples training can be a great thing to go through a course with someone you share the hardships and that gives you like an extra bond for an instructor it could be a nightmare if one of those people is not properly motivated and an improperly motivated person will not be able to get over those hurdles of challenges easily so ears uh fears right fear we didn't talk about fears right fears of of whatever the fish you know i've had people freak out come up to the surface in an open water course spit out the regular did you know there are fish down there <laughs> i was like yeah i've seen them yeah yeah uh, you know, just afraid of everything. So fears can, can, can be a thing, but that's going to often lead to ears, right? The conflict, the showing off, uh, mixed max of expectations. So if you're going to train as a couple, I think it's a great thing. You know, make sure you're both on the same wavelength, have mercy on your instructor, uh, enjoy, you know, if you make it through the course, enjoy those are some great times. You know, I've had awesome times diving with family members. Some of my best memories, right, are, are diving with, with family members. So enjoy that. Post up below if you are a couple or an instructor, a dive master. Let me see the couple stories down below. I, I think this is going to be a good thread maybe. All right. Thanks a lot and see you on the beach.